What's up, YouTube? It's Born Go Reacts, back with another one. So today we're checking out Tom McDonald, Adam Calhoun, and Dax, black and white. Uh, nobody requested this, but a lot of people said that if I enjoyed Tom, I would also be enjoying Adam and Dax. So I took a look at their YouTube pages and I couldn't quite figure out which one I wanted to do for either one of them. Um, so I just noticed that Tom had both of them on and I was like, well, we'll just check this one out and, uh, see how this one goes. And, uh, if you guys would like request one of their songs, if one of them is one of those ones that you really enjoy and want me to hear, just send it on over and I will get to it. Also like comment, subscribe, and thank you to everyone for all your kind words and all of your support. It's greatly appreciated, and it doesn't go, go unnoticed, I promise you that. But without further ado, let's get into Black and White. Hop in the truck, ten of my buddies are already drunk. We don't go nowhere that doesn't have liquor and cigarettes, ride a mechanic. So off the rip, um really fast by Tom. I haven't heard him like this so far. It sounds nice. Personally, I'm not a fan of fast rap unless it's done right. There's very few people that I've heard that can do it right. And uh, I'm not saying he can't. I've just never heard him do it. So we'll see. But um, fast rapping is an art form that a lot of people try but doesn't really stick. I mean, they do it because people seem to like it, but they're not really saying much. They're just saying a bunch of words. You know, when it's done right, you could still continue the story while going fast. I can't even think that fast, let alone rap like that. So, yeah. Let's take it back a bit, get back into it. Hop in the truck, ten of my buddies are already drunk We don't go nowhere that doesn't have liquor and cigarettes Ride a mechanical boats in the club We like to hunt, we with a gun Come back tomorrow, we covered in blood With a bucket of guts, we all tougher the fuck we pop in the clutch, we ain't stuck in the mud I'm the white boy with a baseball bat Bunch of face tattoos and a NASCAR hat In a backyard like scrap yard Got a glass jar full of tobacco that's blacker than asphalt Rolling with hundreds of crackers who acting like animals They cannot handle their alcohol We the white boys from the backwoods in the bad hoods and So I'm assuming it's kind of like a stereotypical song About white people And possibly black people I guess we'll get to that when it comes but um, just talking about NASCAR hats and and white people being drunker than all hell um, but yeah that's what I'm getting out of it. it's kind of like a stereotypical white boy thing when I was younger, they tell me to struggle and hustle like 200 bikers And they were my brothers, we coming for blood and you running for cover Addicted to drugs and the thunder and drunker than anyone leaving the club We go dumber than dust, we got mullets and butters and multiple gunners They're coming in hummers, you under the rubber, you'll never recover <sighs> Chain smoke in my lungs, hurt my neck, red got sunburns Bumping them and then we all know the worst Bunch of white boys flipping hella birds Yeah, Billy really don't care if you like them Little bit of moonshine fire inside them Kill him in a minute, don't care who's fighting You don't want to trip on the kids of Vikings Camo with mullets and cowboy hats out in public Got ammo stashed at my cousins and cashing addicts and covers they all diss and we don't listen, can't hear it no more. We gone fishing, they gone missing, I told y'all before. I be on some white people, hanging out the window of a truck, yelling, I don't give a f Dax's face when they scream, I'm on some white people shit. That is hilarious. Um, yeah, I mean, stereotypical white people shit. Um, especially if you've come from the trailer park area as I have, you're doing a lot of mudding, a lot of um, stealing tractors, drinking, smoking, dipping. You're, you know, you know Eminem, that's for, for sure. I mean, I don't know what Trailer Park didn't, especially when I was growing up. Um, so yeah, it was nice. It sounded good. Obviously, the message here isn't as deep as the other ones, but that's okay. Not every song needs to be that. Um, 
I'm very interested on Adam and Dex. So let's get back into it. Adam has a great rap voice. He is delivering this flawlessly. And you could tell he he has a little bit of that uh thug trailer park in him. It's not it's not just you know white trash. He's he's from it. You could tell just by the way he's speaking. School your little truck, my square body over there. School that every white boy riding with me over there. Shoot his little white boy with a mask for punks. Sit shotgun with a pop the truck. The norm in a mask, so off the jump. I'm up my rock, a lot of guns. This ain't not good, but watch him run. Shoot him in the lung, need oxygen. Hop him, blood like he up and does. Talk too much till his fucking shuts. I'm never gonna back up too much ammo. We got hammer, do the battle. Have my fight right on the gravel. Back in the day, we used to handle shit like men, but now we're canceled. Look at us like states were canceled. Back in the day, we used to handle shit like men. But now you're canceled. I'll tell you what, man. That's probably one of the craziest things that has happened. I mean, obviously, a lot of the world is crazy. But, like, just the the mindset of people. You know, when I worked at a prison, um, there was this prisoner that was acting off. And one of the officers... Um, picked him up and like body slammed him. Now it wasn't good for the officer because no prisoner wanted to see that, and they were very mad because they thought he was being treated mis uh, unfairly. But that's beside the point. The point is, I went up to his cellmate maybe a week after that, and I was like, "What happened to your guy?" what happened and he's this big dude and he goes shank sometimes people just need to get knocked out and i started laughing and I, I couldn't have agreed with him more you know i'm not saying violence is the answer that's not what i'm saying but the way we handle things now Compared to then, it was like, hey, you got a problem with me? Let's handle it. There was no guns. There was no nothing. It was like, let's go fight this out. Let's go squash this. And, it, you know, if not, we'll we'll handle this. And then, boom, we're done. Like, just, that's it. But now it's like, if you say the wrong thing, you're canceled. If you do the wrong thing, you're canceled. If you sneeze the wrong way, you're canceled. Like, there's no winning in life. So, it's just crazy to me how times have changed just from when, you know, growing up to now. Like, I'm not even that old, you know. <laughs> and it's just, it's a wild time to be around just the changes that, it's like nobody handles things anymore. It's like if you say anything bad or you say anything that's remotely offensive, people take it and run with it. So. Talk too much till this fucking shot. I'm never gonna back up too much ammo. We got hammer, do the battle. Have my fight right on the gravel. Back in the day, we used to handle shit like men, but now we're canceled. Look at us like states were canceled. Look at them like boy, your pants on dumbass kids ain't got no answer. Look up to do with tattoos. That's an Eminem flow. Um, I want to say it's the way I am, I believe, but that's an Eminem flow, that's for sure. You could tell him and Tom have both 
been influenced by him in their life. And that's not a bad thing. I mean, you could be influenced by somebody that in their rapping style, and they don't sound anything like him, but you could tell they've been influenced by him. It doesn't need to be like, oh, you sound just like Eminem. Like, no, nah, they don't sound like him at all, especially from what I've heard with Tom. Like, he has many different styles that he can pull from. And Adam is not talking about the same things that Eminem does. I mean, a very degree, especially like when Eminem was younger, but like you could tell the influence is there, is what I'm trying to say. We got hammered, used to battle, had my fights right on the gravel. Back in the day, we used to handle like my men now were canceled. Look at us like states were canceled. Look at them like pull your pants on. Dumbass kids ain't got no answer. Look up to dudes with tattoos and rap music, bad moves and abuse in my past, acting stupid. I used the bad news for the gas to keep moving. I made it where I'm at, now you rather see me losing. Oh my God, got tattoos on the- I made it where I'm at, now you want to see me losing. Why is that the case? Why is that always the case with people? Like, if you're winning, dude, I am happy for you. I want to see everyone eat. I want everyone to win. But some people in this world, and the majority of the people in the world, want people, especially when they get to a certain point, like they want to see him win, and then they get to that point, and it's like, man, F this dude. What does he do for us? Like, that's... It's crazy how that works, man. And I can only imagine having millions of dollars. Like, <laughs> I'm sure you have people switching up on you every day. To keep moving, I made it where I'm at. Now you rather see me losing. Oh my God, got tattoos on the face. They did the time they got jammed. What the hell's a blue check? They ain't got no Instagram. Ask around, everyone knows. They might think that I care, but I don't. I'll be on so white people. Adam's got that like that like I said like that that thug trailer park flow like he truly does not give an f what people have to say and I know what that's like like I am a changed man I'm a very good person but f around and find out is still in there like, don't get it twisted. You can say pretty much anything you want to me. I don't care. Like, I really don't. You know, it's it's whatever. You can't say anything to me that hasn't already been said. But you come around and you mess with anybody I'm close with. Nah, ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Yeah, you could tell Adam has a lot in that, uh, a lot of that in him. I really enjoy his verse too. Like I, please give me some stuff to check out from him. I'm very curious to see the rest of what he sounds like. Is this more of the same, or does he switch it up kind of like Tom? Like, is it different in any way? Is there meaningful tracks, or is it all just? Kind of gangster rap type of stuff. Oh my God, he be on some white people. Yes, yeah, segregated, but I'm still in the mix. I've been with Tommy before he got canceled for speaking the truth about the world and exposing it for what it actually is. I see race as an issue. I'm running it back to the government to tell them this is a democratic, liberated, conservative, patriarchy dipped in action, affirmative hit song. Bet they still cut me a check. State that I'm in is my mind is way deeper than color. I ain't think I'm blue versus red. I'm in control until I'm carrying more than you know. Yeah, hear that again. I meant to tell them this is a democratic, liberated, conservative, patriarchy dipped in action, affirmative hit song. Bet they still cut me a check. State that I'm in is my mind is way deeper than color. I ain't think I'm blue versus red. I'm in control. Until the so you can take that in two different ways of blue versus red. You got your Democrat, Republican, and you got your Crips and Bloods. Um, both of them go to war with each other. So he was probably playing on the blue versus red scheme of, you know, Republican, Democrats, uh, Bloods and Crips. That's nice. I like that. 
so cut me a check. State that I manage my mind is way deeper than color. I ain't think I'm blue versus red. I'm in control. Until that I'm carrying more than you know. When in the chamber that's ready to blow. Right if you push through clipping you won't. I'm gonna keep praying that you get exposed. <laughs> I promise. I'm not abiding by rule that you set. That was a good joker laugh. <laughs> that was nice. Push through clipping you won't. I'm gonna keep praying that you get exposed. <laughs> I promise. I'm not abiding by rule that you set for me. I'm not that mad at the past. I mean, it was only a couple of centuries. Well, actually, I'm pissed, but won't let that be my identity. So on behalf of all blacks, I for I'm not that mad at the past. It was only a couple of centuries. Actually, I'm pissed. Let me see. Let me hear that again. I'm not abiding by rule that you set for me. I'm not that mad at the past. I mean, it was only a couple of centuries. Well, actually, I'm pissed, but won't let that be my identity. So on But won't let that be my identity. So you have every right, especially for the, you know, black community to feel a certain type of way. Every right. But the fact that he's saying, like, I'm not th that mad at the past. Well, actually, I'm pissed. Like, but I won't let that be my identity. Like, that is big to say. Because a lot of people still feel a certain way towards white people because of it. And I get it. I mean, I get it. I wasn't around for all that. So, I mean, it wasn't me, but I get it. If you don't like us or whatever, and you still feel a certain type of way, that, I mean, I get it. But at the same time, it's like, man, we, we can just love each other and just be friends and love each other, man. Like, it doesn't need to be that way. But I completely understand people still being upset about it. And rightfully so. Like, that is... A time where I wasn't around, but I can imagine that it sucked for, you know, everyone in that time. But that was pretty, pretty cool of him to say. Out of the past, I mean, it was only a couple of centuries. Well, actually, I'm pissed, but won't that be my identity? So on behalf of all blacks, I forgive and don't want to be enemies. Just say you're sorry and talk to me nice. This is comedic. If you get offended, that's a reflection of your own life and how you feel. That's just a reflection of your own life and how you fail to live it right. That is, that's deep right there. So I feel like Tom and Adam were more doing like the stereotypical white person thing. And this is kind of jumping on topics of, I'm assuming how he feels as a, a black male in society, you know, touching on topics of you know, the past and how he's like, it was only a couple of centuries. I'm not that mad. I actually, I'm pissed. Or, you know, if you're, this is comedic, like, if you get offended, like, that's just a result of how you're living your life. Don't be mad at me. Like, don't take this out on me. That's, that's your own fault. I don't know. I really like the, the approach he's taking on this. Enemies, just like you're sorry and talk to me nice. This is comedic. If you get offended, that's a reflection of your own life and how you fail to live it right. So it's not black versus white. It's wrong versus right. Cause color is just. I'll forever say that. It's not black versus white. It's not any race versus any race. Like, it's wrong versus right. Are you a good person? Are you a bad person? Do you do the right thing or you do the wrong thing? I don't care what race you are. If you're a good person, that's all that matters to me. I do not care. So I like the, that he said that because I feel like sometimes that gets lost in everything. Like if, if you have a problem with somebody, it has to be their race or it has to be their gender. Like it can't just be because they're not being nice. Like they're just bad people. It can't be that. It has to be, you know, something physical for them. Like I, I don't get it. 
just another faction of your life that we didn't choose you were born into it I like that like you can't like you can't be mad at certain things and it's like you know like if I wasn't there I didn't do it like I was just born into this or you were born into that like I, you can't, you can't not like somebody because they were born into something. Now, like I said, if they're just a terrible person, yeah, I mean, that's one thing. But don't judge them just because of their skin color or their, you know, whatever. Right, it's wrong. First right, cause color is just a result of these multiple factors that we didn't choose. I mean, mom, dad, race, religion, things we're born into. Generational curses that get undone once we undo moves. See life from a different view beyond our own skew. Manipulated by the news, crude, true things they use to confuse the masses. Put us in social classes, separated by. Look, I love Tom and Adam had a nice verse on here, but Dax is slaughtering this with. Things that you're born into, mom, dad, race, religion, like, you know, generational traumas, things that you can't undo or you can't undo. Like, he is snapping right now. Generational curses that get undone once we undo moves. See life from a different view beyond our own skew. See, I, once I broke my generational curses or am still, you know, going through that process and trying to make my family better than than what you know we had when we were growing up is you have to you have to do these things to change your view because you've been seeing down one path your whole life so not to say that that's wrong but if you want to break those curses and you want to ch change the mold of it you're gonna have to look at different areas and find different pieces that you can add to your own puzzle to help form a different mindset and break those generational curses. That's what he's trying to explain right here. By the news, crude, true things they use to confuse the masses, put us in social classes, separated by percentages, paid for taxes, income practice, clothes, cars, shoes, size of asses. I've been trying to blackmail me once I black out all these demographics. The push past the stereotypical average and get blackballed and they cut all my traffic. Oh my god, he be Take that up. True, true things they use to confuse the masses, put us in social classes, separated by percentages, paid for taxes, income practice, clothes, cars, shoes, size of asses. I've been trying to blackmail me once I black out all these demographics. The push past the stereotypical He's going off on the government and media right there and how they try to skew what they want you to know and what they think you should know and make it a thing where I'm going to plant this in front of you and I know you're going to take it because it's exactly what I want you to do. And I know you're not going to think for yourself. And that's what he's saying. Like they're, they're trying to change your perspective on things. And yeah, I absolutely love his verse let me know what he's got you can tell this dude is nice oh my god he be on some black so that was tom mcdonald adam calhoun and dax black and white overall I liked it. It was nice. It was cool. It had some catchy things in there. It was very fast paced. Um, the delivery, the hook, everything was nice. It sounded good. Um, sonically, it was it was just it was pleasant on the ears. Um, 
But I will say this, and it's not a win or lose, but Dax, I think, took that one for me. Um, I like what Tom and Adam did, like I said, but Dax was touching on. That's that's the type of fast rap that I said that is is it's different. Because you're able to take a subject and you're running with it at a million miles an hour, rapping with it. And that is how it's done. I'm not saying, like I said, that Tom doesn't know how to do it. He did it. It was good. But it was more so like stereotypical white person stuff. Like, I get it. It was nice. It was clever. But into the technical realm of it, Dex destroyed that. That was awesome. Well, thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Link will be in the description down below. I hope to see you guys soon. Enjoy your beautiful weekend. I'll see you guys on the next one.